Hello, this is Sel. In this video, I'm going to talk about using Broad to save its analysis as an image or picture. As we can see here, so here the like the sound wave recorded in two channels, channel one and channel two, but the channel two it, it it seems it doesn't catch any sound, and also we have the spectrogram and we have here the pitch, but to export this result, we have two options. The first one is exporting using the prod main window, but there is unnecessary items here. For example, these menu or the title or these options, we don't need to show. And also we can try the labels, we can control the labels like X labeled, Y labeled, the tick, everything. But how if, if we could export it as an image or figures which where we only show the important things and also we can show that, that what we need to write as a label for X label and Y label. So the first thing is how to export our result using the, like the broad image. The second thing is how to remove this like the unnecessary like the channel. To do so, I use two software, Audacity to remove this channel, and then I use Prod to export the, my analysis as a picture. Let me show you how I did that. First, I open Audacity. For example, the file is here in Prod. Okay, so let me file, open, and from the desktop, there is the Prod folder, and here's the sound wave. I have the two channel. I need to like remove this channel. So easily from this menu, click here and then split stereo to mono. And once we split, we can remove. So if I click this X, I get rid of the first channel. So I keep this channel. I need to export now as a mono channel. So file, export audio, and then rename it in the desktop. Proud and here underscore oh no and the extension will be wave save okay so now saved close and don't save and then open prod let me open the file because this recording is very long like around one hour we need to export as a long sound file and from the prod and let me open the mono sound I have the sound click view so if I click view I will have this view let me select like that one of my sound which is that whistle sound so the sound was selected for example from one five five four to one five five seven apply and then OK and then we can click Control N or in the view to zoom to selection or Control N zoom to selection we have here if I click the sound this is the whistle sound so now we have the sound and we are going to use the broad picture window here to draw so I need first to select to import the sound wave here so I need to select like the area to draw that and the white area is the area where we draw and the orange area is used to write the label like x labeled and y labeled and the tick and the tick value etc so to select the area put the cursor in the place where the tip of the cursor where you need to keep the image for example if I click here it means that the drawing will start from 1 and and 0.5 in that area this is very nice area to start so around here and click and drag to the area you wish for example I like to have the, the, the X from for example 1 to 6 this is the effective area and the vertical from 0.5 to 2 maybe we need to increase a little bit so I can click again and to 2.5 to 6 that's a very nice area to draw so after that I just need to draw the sound wave here so I will go to file and then draw visible sound if the draw visible sound this menu will appear and here erase first it means erase everything here before drawing we don't need to erase something now preserve time you don't need to change 
This is the title. White name as a top. White white name it means the title. Do you need title? For example, this is far. Let's select the far. And then I prefer the Greenwich. Why? Let me show you. If I click Greenwich and click Apply, so we will have the title relatively far from the top part, and we will have the amplitude in the Y axis and the time on the X axis. So if let me show you if. I click edit and then undo to remove this part. If I select like that draw selection time and apply, the difference is they printed the timestamp on the upper corner. We don't need in the upper like the part of the of the figures. We don't need the time there. So let me edit undo. And if I select the draw selection here, if I click apply they will show this dotted line to show the selection part of the drone we don't need also that one so i i will remove and then edit undo and then apply so the best option for me is only greenish here and for the title if i select near and then let me erase again and apply it will make the title relatively closer from the axis if i finish I, I like this part. I will click OK. So I finish the first part, which is a drone. What if, if I need to put the tick every like the time so I can from the margin and then this is the bottom and then the time every one second. So the unit give it one, but the distance is one second. And if white number, it means he will print the, the number on the time. I don't like, I will show and then erase. Draw the tick, it will draw the tick. Draw the dotted line, it will draw the dotted line. Apply. So they put the number here, but we don't like. So let me first undo and then remove the number and maybe make the distance every 0.5 second and then keep the tick and keep the dotted line. Apply. So now we have here the time every 0.5 second. When we finish that one, we finish OK. So we need to put if you like, you can put that, 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 like the amplitude on the X axis. For example, we can, for example, here margin and then the left axis. And this is unit, keep it one. And this is the distance, maybe every point oh one. And then we don't need numbers. We don't, we keep the dot and tick apply. So now every 1.1, 1 .1 it is shown in, in that part but because the distance is very small so maybe point one is can't be shown if we put point oh one and then apply still it is very narrow we can't show the tick in that part okay we finished that part and then we need to add the spectrogram in the lower part to do so i i will click that for example the mouse here in that part so i i, I selected this area Maybe the X from the 1 to 6 and the height from 3.5 to 5.5, this area. And then I need to show the spectrogram. So I will select like the spectrogram, spectrum and then paint visible spectrogram. And erase first, we don't need to erase. Title, we don't need title because the, we title, have the title from this part. Draw selection time. As we mentioned, selection time, it will show that time in the like that top part we don't need draw here we don't need that greenwich is enough apply so now we hear the spectrogram we have and click ok we finish and maybe we need to show like the time so the margin and the bottom every 0.5 apply so we have the margin every 0.5 and if we show the margin for that lift so here for example the frequency it is from 0 to 5,000, so we may keep unit 1, but the distance is every 1,000. And we don't need the number, we just need the tick and the dotted. We can click Apply, so now we have here this grid, and click OK. So we finished that part. Maybe we need to show this pitch on the spectrogram. Pitch in blue, so we need to change the bin. So from the bin, we need to change it at the blue. And then we are going here in the pitch and then draw visible pitch contour. And because we don't need to erase, if we erase, it will erase this drawing. And then the, we don't need the title. We don't need any other because we just need the, 
the, the like the, the plot or the figure itself so I will not select anything just apply so we have here this blue which representing the pitch here now we finish that part we click OK we finish formatting the picture so we are I'm going to select and select only the active area this part and this is the like the outer part we don't need to select just the inner part and then from file and then save as 600 dbi png file click save this is safe on the desktop please remember that if you just save as a image without extension if i write save and then go to the file in the desktop and this is prod and if i go to the image it doesn't have extension so it doesn't recognize as an image so when you export you need to go to file and then save as 600 and then let's write image dot png don't forget the extension and then save it's saving now the picture and now we have the image if i click double click so now we have this image so now we understand in this video how to like convert the stereo sound to mono sound and then how to like that draw or export or convert the output or the result or product as an image that's all for that video thank you bye bye